record, record and have your audio plugged in. Right. <laughs> Best place in the world, I would say, yeah. If they're not finding you, it's because your content isn't good enough. That always makes me feel good. How do I just say it? I'm so disappointed. How do you succeed on YouTube? In a field like finance, crypto, investments. I've read all the tips, watched all the videos, and I'm telling you, it's not enough. I want to add value to more people. I'm a CTO, senior investor, senior business leader, but I'm a beginner YouTuber. If I'm to become not only good at this, but to truly master the craft to the level of my other fields, how do you do that? Did you see what that is? That's an actual airplane. I used to fly every week, usually many times per week. Now I've almost forgotten what plane looks like. A lot of things seem trivially easy at first, like investing. You just buy low and sell high, right? But then after you've bought high and sold low a few times, you realize it wasn't that easy. Then the more time you spend, you start to respect the craft, how hard it is to do it well. At the bleeding edge of technology, at the frontier of society change, you can't read it in a book. You have to seek out the true master and learn from him or her. But who is that? Who has trained the Jedi masters of YouTube? You have to find the YouTube Yoda. Now the thing is that I'm not entirely sure that I can get in. There's a lot of rules around this, you know, thing that's going on. YouTuber of the year last year was Peter McKinnon. He is phenomenal, I just love his videos. But who taught him about MD filters and lighting and audio? He's taught me so much about filmmaking. I have my own lineup of ND filters. Maddie was the first person that actually showed me how to use an ND filter. I've learned a ton from this guy. Good news, guys, I got in. I got out. It's not too crowded. So this is it. He's coming to pick me up in a couple of minutes. <laughs> there he is. The man, the myth. <laughs> Wrong window. Welcome to Finland. Oh, thanks, Marty. <laughs> this is totally surreal. Incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. You made it alive. <laughs> I made it alive. <laughs> Look at you this. Now I got this... my MD filter. I was just saying that you're and... the up and coming uh, <laughs> finance uh, YouTuber. And look at this. He's on a Sony FX3, got the lens, he's got everything going on. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he learned uh, a lot of his YouTube skills from me. So uh, that always makes me feel good. Oh, I have watched, I watched all your videos, I think. I have learned <laughs> everything from you. You are the Yoda of YouTube. <laughs> and it feels totally, totally unreal that I'm here actually seeing you. Thanks, Ed. Appreciate Love that. It. Yeah. Love it. Let's see, we set the Andes. And uh, yeah, we're in Finland. Matti is uh, driving and uh, we have no idea where to go. That feels, <laughs> that feels great. <laughs> When people look at YouTubers, they think, wow, like they do, they do, they do nothing. They just like film their lives and they just hang out and it's so easy, but they don't realize all of the craziness that goes into making YouTube videos, for example. Like I, I personally looked at people, I'm like, wow, that's like the easiest job ever. And now I think this is like a, a very difficult, it's a really fun job, but it's a very difficult job. <laughs> so many things you have to know and learn. That's yeah, crazy. I realized the mine is not even on, but uh, now it's on. 
It's on, the camera is on. First time in Finland? No, but it's a long time since I was here. I was going here a lot actually to meet with Nokia. Yeah, I've been here many times, maybe 20, 30 times. Oh, okay. Yeah. But now I think it's 15 years ago or something. Ixi kaxi kolmen, Nelia. Oh, flew <laughs> finish, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we have to see here if people are recognizing Matti or not. What's it like? That's, that's the best part about YouTube. Most people have no idea who you are. To a few, you're like you're like a like a, a, a quote unquote celebrity, but most people, nobody. Okay, so here we're going for a free product placement meal. <laughs> like film footage actually goes into the videos, and then they'll say like you know twenty percent or something. I'm like, mine's like ninety five, like a ninety eight maybe. Like almost everything that I film goes into a video, and I just don't film stuff that I know won't go in. You know, makes it a little bit easier. So this is CTO Larson. So you were uh, a CTO at Ericsson, and now you're choosing to be a YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know why. What? So now I'm a beginner YouTuber, and everything I've learned about filmmaking, ND filters, <laughs> audio, lighting, I learned from this guy. ND filters Mati. like this you that know? I'm not I'm not using anymore because I'm I've gotten lazy. So why why YouTube? And money is not a short supply anymore. It's a commodity. Audience is a currency of the future. So if you want to learn about uh, finance, crypto stuff, which I I definitely need to know more about, CTO Larson, he's your guy. Uh, now we have some we have some top secret things to talk about future big I've alluded to this a few times there's some big things happening I can't say too much yet but uh I'll let you guys know soon uh so Matt is using the gorilla pod over there <laughs> I actually got the tripod from one of Matt's videos where you experimented with having a small yeah yeah tripod design, yeah yeah uh, lightweight yeah have uh, yeah, you been instead. using it uh, I have brought it but I left it in Matt's car <laughs> that's a beginner YouTube while Don't. the pro here <laughs> As much as I don't like the Gorilla Pod, I feel like it could be better. It still feels like the most versatile tool for YouTube filmmaking. You carrying okay. around and bringing the tripod in here, that would attract too much attention. You should maybe take off the ND filter. It's too dark in here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to record me so I could say that, you know, teach a little bit. <laughs> There we oh, go. Now we can there see we here. go. Now we're good. All right. <laughs> uh, 50 mil. I think you're on a 55 mil right now. That was like my go-to lens, like that. And everybody bought one for, for especially for photography. And as I've developed, I've just gone wider and wider and wider. And I think there's a, there's a when you when you're a beginner, it's easy to make like a 7200 look good because it's just everything's blurred out and it looks really like you, you don't your eyes don't see like that so it looks really intense but um, when you get better at filmmaking I actually want to show more of my background and not just my face like this you know I want to see the background I want to see the environment um, and then it then it then you get in all the leading lines and composition and all of this other stuff so I don't remember the last time I've used more like a tighter lens than like a 35 mil basically <laughs> <clears throat> okay so guys we're on the wrong lens <laughs> we have to change right now <laughs> okay so as youtubers uh, we have to film the food before we eat it that's important. a must very yeah, very important it is, here it is guys i can eat now or do i feel like I'm, anything else is this a mockumentary are you making a mockumentary about, about me <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, uh, <laughs> great disrespect for this man over here. One more extra clip. Not stressing that we have to launch, like, we have to launch something, you know, something like that. So, we had some deep business discussions now. Top secret. Top secret, but I'm extremely excited, and that is no joke. That is no joke. Guys, big things are happening. I don't look excited when I am excited, but... Scandinavian this men is aren't very good at showing exactly. their excitement. This is the most excited yeah. you'll ever exactly. see. Are you excited, Matti? Very excited. A, l a little bit scared, because it's, uh, it's a big thing, but excited. Very excited. 
Now I don't use any filters, so I'm a little scared here that I'm overexposed. But now we are further down. We are now trying to find the core. I have a master's in theology. Right. Science was the thing that I was best at in school. So two scientists and we could barely find the core, but <laughs> here it is. <laughs> so we just had a delicious dinner cooked by Matti's wonderful, gorgeous wife. I'm a professional and, uh, chef at home. Yeah, um, <laughs> that was so tasty, man. Nice conversations. Matti's driving me back to the hotel. Tomorrow some um, in-depth uh, business discussions. Maybe. Record. Record. It's important to record. It's important to record. Always remember to hit record. Yeah. When you want to record. That's maybe the first lesson in YouTube filmmaking. That is to actually record when you record you're and have your audio plugged in. Right. <laughs> See ya. Legendary Matti Hapoy. All right. That's our work. We're gonna meet Matti for day two. All right, guys. Vlog live. All right, just wrapped up a meeting with Morales. I'm extremely excited about that one too. It, it's a programming framework that makes it easier to build the centralized applications, dApps, without having to boilerplate everything because it's quite complex actually to get all those things up and running. This has a number of toolkits that's ready to go. That would be a fantastic addition to the crypto ecosystem. It's quite similar actually to what Amazon is for Web2 apps for traditional applications. Now I'm gonna work hard by checking Twitter for five minutes until Matli arrives. It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. The man, the myth, the concept Good morning. is back. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. When I come to Finland, I expect it to be 20 and rainy at least 50% of the time. Now it's just been pure sun and 30 degrees for <laughs> most of it. Yeah, so if we're serious a little bit for a moment, I really traveled over here to, as a creator, I do struggle with YouTube. It's not so I much think we about... All do. <laughs> it's not so much about the ND filters and the cameras and the audio. I have figured that out, thanks yeah. to you, so I got it. But I struggle with other parts, like how do I actually grow? How do I niche? Mm. How, do I, how do I create? Mm. On my channel, I'm getting enormously great feedback. A lot yeah. of comments are, why does this guy not have more followers? Yep, that's the uh, and it's like the most that's a good sign. Yeah, it's a good sign. Like the most undersubscribed channel yeah. when people are writing. But still, I struggle. How to, okay, so how do I resolve that? What mm. do I do? So as a creator, I do struggle with YouTube, even after practicing on it now for, for a few years. And um, I really came here to get some real advice from, from the master, from the Un Yoda of YouTube. Uh, 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 and and uh, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I'm gonna tell you that we all still struggle with YouTube. I, I feel like it's one of those things that's, always changing, there's always things that you can learn. I feel like I'm more comfortable with YouTube now than I ever have been, but I still, all the time, I second guess myself and then like you take a little break and like, oh wait, do I, do I remember how to do this anymore? Oh no, this, this idea is stupid. Nobody's gonna watch this idea, you know? There's so much, uh, there's so much to YouTube that it's, it's constantly changing, isn't it? That's ex exactly. The algorithms are changing, the, the, the trending topics are changing, the way you have to present your information. You know, when I started, titles and thumbnails were not as, as drastically important. Now it's like, it's so important that your title and thumbnail hook people in. Otherwise, nobody's gonna see that video. So, yeah. I want to say three tips for me. Three tips. Do you want me to talk straight to the camera or to you? Just gonna, see, is it, these are, these are, so two things right away, <laughs> I would say. This is not for the camera, these are bonus tips. When you're talking with somebody on camera, focus on the camera, not me. Mm. So like if we're talking, if we're talking this way. Yeah. Talk, when you were talking to me, talk mm. to the camera. Right. Treat the camera as, and this, this, this may be as, this is a good first tip. When I first started, I felt uncomfortable with the camera until I started treating the camera as, as a person. So there's a third mm. person here, which is you guys, the audience. And so I talk to you guys, well, even if I'm like, I have something to say to, to Larson, I, I'm talking to you guys as I'm speaking that thing. And so it's like, you have to be aware of the third person in the room. And then once mm. you get used to that third person, then you start talking much more naturally. It's a lot more easy because you're just talking to a person. You're not talking to a camera anymore. 
And so that makes it a lot easier, I think. At least for me, it did. That changed oh, that's everything. a great tip. That's yeah. an important tip. Yeah. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> because you guys are with us. You guys yeah. are seeing this. It is a person in the oh, room. That's a, that's they're a just, real they're real not here tip. right now, but they are. Oh, that's a great tip. That's a great tip. Yeah, thank you. I have started it, right? <laughs> I forgot to look at you guys. Now I'm yeah. going to look at you guys. So I have started it. I have mm -hmm. 30,000 subscribers, which is a lot of people. Lot. That's more people than there were citizens in the city I grew up. So that is a lot of people. They are important people. Each and every one of those people can potentially be changing the direction <laughs> of the whole industry, of the whole world. It just takes one person. So that yeah. is a lot of people already. But of course, I want to add value to as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's more fun to do videos that people watch of course, than to yeah. do videos that not so many people yeah. watch or that at least a lot of people miss that yeah. would benefit from it. And I have no idea how to reach them. I don't know how to grow them. I tr experimented with different things like ads didn't work. No, no. Uh, there's no. So, the, the, there's so how to grow, how to grow a YouTube channel. Everybody thinks that if more people just saw my content, then I would grow. That it's just a matter like they haven't found me yet. But actually, if they're not finding you, it's because your content isn't good enough. And now, mm. now your channel is growing. And like when I first met you, I didn't shout you out right away or anything mm. like that because you weren't ready yet. Your no. content wasn't quite at the level yet that if somebody found it, they'd be like an almost instant insta subscribe, yeah. you know? But now you've, you've gotten to the point where your content is really good and now your videos are starting to take off. So once your videos are starting to take off, now I can shout you out and it's gonna help you. People always think all they need is a shout out from somebody like me or Peter or somebody and then they would be growing. But if your channel is not already growing, my shout out is gonna do almost nothing to you. It might even hurt you actually. The only thing, the only real tip is to make good content. Yeah. And it sounds so simple and it's so complicated at the same time, you yeah. know, because what is good content? You know, what does that, that entail? But I think, I think in the end, you just have to come from the perspective of the audience. What would the people, what would mm. they click on? And sometimes we think, oh, they would love this video idea. But actually you're just thinking it from your head and not the audience's per perspective. Yeah. And they would actually click on something totally different. So, so it's almost like, it's not a quick tip. No. You need almost like mentoring. You need to learn how to make great content. And that's not a bullet point. No. That's a craft. That's a yeah. skill yeah. that takes years to master. Exactly. And you need guidance from, from someone more experienced. It's not even necessarily guidance. It's like if you want to be a YouTuber, then start watching YouTube videos. Watch the best guys, the guys that are growing. They're not growing just because they got a shout out from somebody. They're growing because their content is really good for one reason or another. Now, it could be because it's really entertaining or because they're providing a lot of value. There could be a whole bunch of reasons for it. But in the end, they have good titles, good thumbnails. And then when you start watching the video, something is keeping you there. And if, if it's not good content, people will click on the video, they'll stay for a few seconds, they're like, ah, bored, onto the next video. And that's not good content. And so that won't, that won't get pushed out in the world. And all YouTube is, is searching for is the good content that people will click on and watch. That's it, if you make that, you will grow, 100%. And that's, I think that's the best part about YouTube is there's a guarantee for that. If you are making good content, you, your channel will grow. There's, that's a hundred percent. This video is going to be 50 minutes long. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I, even if only I watch this video, <laughs> it is absolutely golden. <laughs> so now we got two tips. Mm -hmm. Talk to the audience and make great content. And I guess that kind of sums it up. But if you're forced to give a third tip, what would that be? I would say to forget about trying to grow, forget about the money until you're growing. You're not, you're not missing out on anything until you actually start growing. Just literally focus on making the good content. And that means you're gonna have to make a whole bunch of crappy content in the beginning. You watch my first videos, they're nothing spectacular. And may, maybe I had a little bit of a leg up because I was already a filmmaker and so I could make it look a little bit more flashy, even though I didn't really know what I was doing on YouTube. Uh, but just start making the stuff and that's the only way you'll eventually make that good content. So don't, don't plan, don't, 
start archiving ideas and stuff, just start making the videos and before you know it and, and consume and try to learn and all that. Learn, make, repeat, that's what I always say. Just keep doing that and eventually you'll get to that good content and it'll, it'll start taking off. And I, and I just wanna say, you are doing that already. You, your content is taking off because you started doing those things. So you, you're already doing that and you just gotta keep doing that. Don't, don't get lost, don't, don't start doing ads or anything. There's no, there's no shortcut to it. You just mm. gotta keep doing it, what you're doing. So how do we sum it up? No, I'll sum it up for you. So yeah. the tips I would say is treat the camera like it's a person, like it's the audience that helps to, to speak to it. Cause that's usually one of the big things that people struggle with. Number two, make good content, learn what good content is. And then three is just learn, make, repeat, keep doing it until you reach that good content. I think that's kind of it. Life changing moment for me <laughs> here. These are actually important tips. No joke, I laugh a lot, we laugh a lot, but this is serious, life changing tips and advice from the best person at the craft that I, I know. I'm not the best. I, I would not say I'm the best at all. <laughs> I'm just trying, learning myself. Every year I'm like, wow, my videos were so bad. And then I just try to make better stuff all the time. I just don't know how to start that. <laughs> Top secret discussions. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have any context for this, so my brain is like, how do I, how do I, uh, how do I just say it to the video? <clears throat> He's been saying that he came here to learn from me, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm the one who's learning here. Wait, 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 it is something that is wise, not straight. I think he's been saying that he's come here to learn from me, but I'm pretty sure I'm the one who's learning from him. We've been top secret discussions. Well, it's many hours later. We have many hours later, we were shooed <laughs> out from the one place we were sitting and then now we're back here. Mild headache after a lot of coffee, <laughs> but uh, we have gotten a lot of thinking down. Yeah, I'm just, I'm and at the yeah. poison, place now where I'm like, I'm so excited to get this out. I can't, that's when like the real fun is gonna start happening when we, when, when I can actually get this out and tell you guys, tell everybody about what, what we're cooking up. Uh, that's when the fun's gonna start happening. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, and with that, probably wraps up the meeting with uh, Mati Hapoya. How do you pronounce it? Mati Hapoya on my channel, Mati Hapoya in real life. Finish styles. <laughs> you gotta do another, you gotta come to Canada. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll do it. That's a promise. Try You're wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming, man. I appreciate the help. Thank you for teaching me your ways. <laughs> you gotta come to Canada. We gotta have you there. If you wanna go to Helsinki, the train's right there. Yeah. Really easy. I'm gonna do that next time. If you noticed, but Finland, like Sweden, is a country without that many people. All right, so this is the most traditional Finnish candy. It's a salmiak. Yeah. Mm. It's so delicious. Good. It is so good. Mm. We should buy this, guys. Okay guys, I'm in the exact center of Helsinki and it looks like this. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. 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 Island. See at the beaches. Well, I don't know. <laughs> if you want to travel to Finland, so I definitely think the Lapland is a really beautiful place. Equal rights that we have in here. Even though if you're like woman in Finland, you can basically be like whoever you want and you can grow and 
be president if you want to, basically. Yeah. So it's all up to you. I People think. of Finland? <laughs> People in Finland are quite quiet, maybe. But they are really, really like nice and yeah. honest. I would honest. say, yeah, yeah honest like is they're a good true. Word. Yeah, yeah. They say what they mean, basically. Like there is no like small dog, basically. Yeah. So direct. the small dog, yeah, yeah. they are quite direct. Yeah. Yes. Like they, if they think they have a nice day, they mean it. Are they trustworthy? Would you say Finnish people yeah. are trustworthy? Yeah, really like if yeah. you go to the bathroom and leave your like purse there, like no one will touch no, it. Basically, yeah. like, nobody. No one has ever stolen me anything in my life in Finland. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, best place <laughs> in the world, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> with those words, we close the Finland trip and continue the YouTube journey. Thank you for being with me here today. I really appreciate it. I'm so disappointed. Sure, I learned how to succeed on YouTube. We made some of the most exciting business discussions I've had in years. But he's not using MD filters. See you tomorrow. Hello.